Hi, I'm Jenny Garth. I am asked so many times how I keep my weight down and stay trim. The truth is, it used to be very hard. I'd step on the scale every morning, groan, and go without food all day, usually ending up so weak and shaky that I would just lose control and eat all of the junk food I could find. Besides losing control, I lost my energy and my patience, and of course, I never lost any weight. My bathroom scale suddenly had the power to make or break my day. Okay, so I had to do something drastic. I found a fitness expert who agreed to show me how to get fit so I would look trim and feel great. Now I have lots of energy to get through my long days, and of course he promised to make it fun. The very first thing I did was throw away my bathroom scale. That was definitely fun. You see, fitness has absolutely nothing to do with a bathroom scale. It's about feeling great and looking great. I looked at the foods I was eating, and I made some major adjustments. You see, food is the body's fuel, and if I give it the most correct fuel, it will run longer and more smoothly. To reduce my body fat and increase muscle, I needed to stop eating so much fat and burn off some of the old excess fat with exercise. Plain and simple. I used to hate to exercise, but now I actually look forward to it because I feel so great afterwards. I'll show you the program that was designed to help me, okay? Let's do this together. It'll be fun. Up to stretch and warm our muscles for the aerobic portion where we burn the fat. Then we're going to work on tightening and shaping our butt and thighs and flattening and strengthening our stomach muscles. We finish by cooling down and stretching out our muscles so they won't hurt quite so much tomorrow. If you want to reduce your jean thighs, you may want to do this five times a week. If you just want to feel great and firm up, then do this program three or four times a week. Are you ready? You guys ready? Okay. Do you have lots of water, comfortable clothes, and good workout shoes? And let's do it. Start by doing some deep breathing. Inhale up and exhale, bending the knees. And up and exhale. And in and exhale. Two more. Breathe in and exhale. Last one. And march it out. Hands on your hips. One. Bring those knees up. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now march it out with step touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, five, four, that's it. Three, two, one. Let's move. One, two, three. Touch. Bring those knees up. It's still a march. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three. Taps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, four, three. Now we're going to add the shoulders and tap and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, five, four, three, two. Now biceps and up. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, five, four, three, two, 
One, triceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now eight. Biceps. Five, six, seven, triceps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. Toe taps. Let's do eight plane. Now alternate, arms reach up and one, two, three, four. Stretch it out. Eight more. Keep breathing. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Good. We'll do eight plane. Get used to it. Now alternate arms. Good. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hands on the hips, heel touch. And left, right, and left. And left, good. And out. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Alternate arms up and down, up and down, up. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. Just follow along. Right, and left, and right. Good, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three. Now both arms, and up, and down, and up, and down, up. Four, five, six, seven, last eight. One, two, three, good, four, five, Six, seven, march it out and keep those knees going. Gotta get all warmed up. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, touch, left. Touch, right. Touch, good. Five, six, seven, eight, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna take it to the side. And one, two, three, touch, good. Keep it marching, keep those knees up. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. How's it feel? Last two. Last one, lunge to the right. And lunge, and left. Two. Make sure your knee is going directly over your toe. Your toes should not be faced out. Straight on. Good. Four, three, two. Now hold it to the right. Turn, stretch out that calf. Good, feel that stretch. Now drop the knee down and up. And down, don't let it touch the floor. Two, three, tummy's held in. Four, five, six, seven. Good, hold it up and press that heel down. When we do these, we need to remember to keep our front leg bent and directly over our toe. And press it out and bend. Keep your tummy held in. Three, two, last one. Good, now bring that left leg forward. Stretch, stretch out those hamstrings. Good, your back straight, tummy's in. Now lunge it to the left, and left, right, left, right, good. Seven, hold it to the left. Stretch out that calf, tummy's held in. Stretch it out. I'm gonna drop that knee and raise it back up. And one, and two, three, 
Don't let your knee extend your foot to come straight down. Like this, at a 90 degree angle. Three more. Two. Last one. Good. Hold it up and press. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend. Four more. Three. Two. Good. Bring it forward. We're going to stretch out that right hamstring. Whew. It's pretty intense for a warm up. <laughs> okay. Back to center. Hands above your knees. Let's round and flatten the back. Rest your hands gently above your knees and round that back and press. Tilt your pelvis up and press. Tilt it up and press. Good. Good. Round it up. Now, shoulders back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. With elbows, we're gonna lunge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whole arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the lunge, let's just shake out those arms. Great. Keep it going. We're gonna go right into the low impact aerobic section. Okay, we're gonna march it out. And one, two, three, four. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now with the touch, one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Keep those knees coming way up. Good. Four more, two, and last one. Now moving. One, two, three, touch. Good. Keep the march. Three, four, four more, three, two. We're going to make a box now. It's called the box step. Right, left, back, and forward, and back, and forward. Knees still coming up, and back, and forward. Right, left, right, left, good. Good. Three, two, now hands stay on the hips. Knees are gonna come up, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march it out. Five, six, kick it to the side. One, two, three, touch, left, right, good, left. Four more, three more, two more, one more. Now, double touch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he comes up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four more. Now we're gonna do another box step. Right and right. Forward, forward, four more. What? Two, three, four. Good. Now knee up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heel touch. Arms up and down and up. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Now knees up for eight. Five, six. Heel touch for eight. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now lunge it to the side. Up and up. Three. Good. When we do these lunges, we have to remember to keep our back straight and our abs held in. Eight more. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Now one arm pressing down and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, seven. Eight. When we do these, we need to remember that our toes both need to be pointing in the same direction, okay? That's very important. And up. Two, three, five, six, seven, and down. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up, up, and up. Five, six, seven, now down. Two, three, four, five, seven, up for four. Two, three, and down. One, two, three, fours. Up, two, three, and down for four, three. Great, shake it out. Woo-wee, that's a good one. Keep it going. Now, we're gonna pull our knees up to our elbows, pulling down with our arms. For 16, ready? And one, two, three, four, seven, eight more. Pull it down. Five, six, now kick back, arms crossed in front. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, five, four, three, double knee lift to the left and up to the right. Four more. Three, two, now knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, kick back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, knee up. One, two, and left, and right, and a fours again. Knee up, and two, three, kick back. One, two, three, double knee lift, and up, and up, good. And now we're gonna try a new move, it's called the grapevine. Right, left, right, back, and together. Right, cross, together, right, cross, Good. Now, our arms are going to cross in the front. Very easy. And we go out and out and out. Good. Four more. One and two and three, four. Shoulder level. One. Keep moving. Now we're going to curl in for a bicep on the fourth count. Ready? And curl. Curl. Good. Last one. We're going to double it up. And in. And in. And in. Good. Make it strong. Last four. Three. Two. Now, arms up and down. Up. Up. And up. And up. Last four. Up. Last one. Arms are going to go out. Out. Pull them in. Last four. One, two, three, four. Good. Knee comes up. Hands on the hips. Good. These are killers. Feel it. Hand up. Feels so good. <laughs> Last four. One, two, three, four. Good. Simple grapevine. No leg up, no arms, no nothing. Just keep it going. Okay. March it out. Step, touch. Step together, step together. Good. Four plane, 
Now, arms coming up and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Last one to the side and out. Two, pull in. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven. Good. You're doing great. And up. Two, three, four more. Three, two, to the side. And out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. More up. For eight. Three, four, side. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Now this is hard. Out. Two. Now we're gonna break it down into twos and up for two, out for two, 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 up and out for two, up for two, out for two, up for two, out for two, up for two, out for two. Up, good, okay. Bring it through, plain set touch. That was tough. <laughs> Make sure you can do it. Good. Now, legs wide, step tap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Now bring the biceps up and up. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Make it work. Two, arms up and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, hard triceps. Out and press. Two and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six. Are your arms getting tired yet? <laughs> okay, great. Now arms up and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now biceps up for two, three, four, five, six. And triceps and press. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, arms up and reach. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, biceps. One, two, three, tricep. Great, now shoulder rolls. Got through it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four more. Now, Elbows back. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now, simple. Step tap, hands on your hips. We're almost there. Eight more. Six, five, four, three, two. Now take it into the lunge. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Six, five, four, three, two. Slow it down. Come down. There you go. We worked hard. Now, we're going to take our pulse for 10 seconds. Place your fingers on your thumb side of your wrist. Follow the count and check the chart. If your pulse is higher, then you need to slow up a bit. If your pulse is lower, speed up. Work to hit your target rate. Great. Now, we're going to hold that lunge to the right. Stretch out that calf, feel it, abs held in, 
and up and back. Keep your knees bent. We're working that calf now. Five, six, seven, eight. Now bring it back to the center. Hands above your knees. We're gonna tilt our pelvis and release. Remember not to arch the back. When we release it, good. And up. And last one. Tilt and down. Good, roll up. And we're gonna stretch it to the left. Stretch it out, hold your tummy in. Rock it back and forth, and up. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. Now, hands above your knees this time. We're gonna stretch our right shoulder in, and our left shoulder in. And our right shoulder in, and our left shoulder in. Good, round it up, and inhale and blow it out and inhale and blow it out very good <laughs> okay let's get ready to strengthen and tone our lower body now the best way to form our butt muscles is by standing alternating lunges with hands on your hips let's do them for eight and down and up work it you'll start to feel it in a minute these are very hard <laughs> Four more. Can you feel that? <laughs> Two more. And we're going to add the arms pushing forward and up. And two. And three. Keep your tummies pulled in. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Now march it out. Whew. We only have eight more playing, eight more with the arms. Starting on the right, ready? And right. And up. And left. And up. Make it work for you. Push against that floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now with the arms forward, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, to the side, we're going to lunge to the right, and left, right, left, four more, three, two, now we're gonna lunge and lift the other leg up. Press down with the arms. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. And up, two, press down. Four, five, six, seven, great. And next move. Okay, six, seven, now feet together, press back with your right leg, and back, two. Hold in those buns. That's how you make it work for you. Four, five, tummies in, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, four more, three, two, great. Now feet out in second, we're gonna do plies, and plie, and stretch, two, and down. Good. These are tough. Four more. Push against the floor. Really work those thighs and your bum. You'll look great after you do these. Good. Eight more. Eight. And up. And seven. And six. Five. Keep your back straight, stomach's pulled in. Eight more, eight, and seven, and six, five. Keep your knees soft, don't ever lock them out. Four more, three more, two more, good. Last one, very good. Now we're gonna go on to the floor. 
for some more work on our butts, hips, and thighs. Use a mat or a rug so it's more comfortable. We're going to go get our mats right now. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, We're on all fours. Rest your forearms down on the floor. Hold your abs in tight and keep your back rounded. With your knee bent, raise and lower to hip level. And all the way down. And doing these leg raises, we need to remember to keep our back rounded, our stomach in. We're going to raise and lower this right leg. Bring it up. Only to hip level. You're really going to feel it in the back of your thigh and in your butt. You bring it all the way back down to the floor. But you have to remember to keep your tummy pulled in. That's what's really important. Great. Keep your tummy pulled in. Same thing, keep your tummy held in, back round it, and up, and down, and up. Good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extended. I'm going to come up like this, but extend your arm all the way down to the floor. We're going to bend our bottom leg, keep our abs in held tight, and we're going to raise and lower our top leg to hip level. And up, and down, and up, up. Resist. Five, six, seven. Good. Shouldn't go all the way to the floor. Just to hip level. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Now, we're going to Take that leg, bring it in, and rest it on the floor in front of us. Extend that bottom leg, flex your foot. We're going to work our inner thigh now. Raise it up, and down. Two, three. Good, keep those abs held in. Feel it working, that inner thigh. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. The switch sides. Roll over onto our right side. Get comfortable. We're gonna bend that bottom leg slightly and raise and lower our top leg. Okay? And 
up, two, three, four, your tummy in, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Now rest that top leg in, extend your bottom leg, we're gonna lift it up. Up, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last eight, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Ah, okay. Roll over on your back. We're gonna try some pelvic tilts. Ready? We're going to raise and lower our hips. Just about two inches off the floor. And up. Two. Three. Keep everything held in tight. The more you work it, the better you're gonna look. And up. Up. Keep your tummy held in. Great. Eight more. Good. Now, we're gonna go on to the exercises to flatten and strengthen our abdominal muscles. This is gonna kill you, I bet. <laughs> Kills me. Place your, we're gonna keep our legs spread apart. Place your hands behind your head. We're gonna raise and lower our shoulders off the floor, all the way off the floor. Ready? And up. Two. Three. Four. Eight more. Two more. Good, now we're gonna do pulses. Up, two, three, four, five. When we do the pulses, these are just quicker, keeping the scapula off the floor. The shoulders never touch the floor. Remember to concentrate on your stomach and relax your neck. One, now bring it all the way down and up. And down, up. And up. And up. Focus on the ceiling. Eight more. Last one, now hold it up, and pulses. Two, three, four. Use those stomach muscles, keep them flat. Eight more. Three, two, one. Good, okay. Now we're gonna place our right ankle on our left knee and extend our right arm out. Put our left arm behind our head, and we're gonna use that to bring us up. We're gonna work the obliques right here. Ready? And up. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, six, five, four, three, two, last one, good. Switch sides, left ankle up into the right knee, right arm back, and up. Two, three, four, keep your tummy held in. Six, seven, eight more. Five, four, three, two, good. With those feet on the floor, both hands behind your head. We're gonna bring it up for eight. And up, two, three, four. When we do the sit-ups, we wanna keep our stomach pulled in as tight as we can. We're just gonna raise and lower that scapula right off the floor. And lower. Good. Remember not to have any tension in your neck. Just relax. Concentrate on your stomach. Good. One. Now we're going to alternate bringing our right knee up to our left elbow and down. Left knee up to our right elbow and down. And up and down. Good. Bring your knee to meet your elbow. Keep those stomach muscles pulled way in. We're really working them now. Eight more. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Now simple crunches and up. Two, three, Four, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, last eight, we're almost there. Seven, six, five, this is when you really have to work it. Keep pulling them up. Three, two, last one. Good, ah, oh, great job. Now we're going to relax and stretch out our muscles so they won't hurt quite so much tomorrow, okay? So stay lying down on your back. Bring both legs in and clasp your hands behind your knees. Stretch it up. Feel that stretch. Now take it to the left. Good. Stretching out all of our back muscles, our stomach muscles. To the right. Okay, hold that stretch. Good, now we're gonna come over onto our side and push ourselves up in the sitting position. Now we're gonna extend our right leg, left leg bent in. We're gonna put our hands on the floor and stretch out this leg here. Keep your back straight and remember not to bounce. Just hold it, you'll feel it. Good, now onto our left side. We're gonna bring this right leg up, stretch out our quads. You can really feel this stretch a lot. Great. Back up. We're going to switch. Left leg extended, right leg in. Press it out. Hold it. Oh, that feels good. And onto our right side. Bring that left leg up. Stretch it out. Ah, that's a good one. Good. Back up. I'm gonna cross that left leg over and wrap around, stretch out our backs. Stay sitting up straight though. Good, and switch. Feel it in here too. Keep stretching, hold it. Good, now both legs out in front of us. We're just gonna hold that stretch. Hold it. Good. Now, 
extend our legs. Keep our abs held in, or else we're not stretching the right muscles. Just hold it, hold it until you feel it. Don't push yourself. Good, this is a good stretch. And the last one, bring the bottoms of our feet together. Hold them in and stretch. Keep your back straight. Just feel it in the legs. Great. Ta-da! We did it. <laughs> Good job, guys. Whew, we did it. Earlier, when I told you that I threw away my scale, I got rid of it for a very important reason. I don't want to become neurotic about my weight or my appearance. Which brings me to something I really want to talk to you about. Eating disorders, especially anorexia and bulimia. These are illnesses triggered by emotional problems. Problems at school, at home, at work. It could even be a breakup with a boyfriend. It's so easy to think that if we're just a little thinner, maybe we'll be picked or liked or loved. It's just not true. When we become obsessive about our appearance, we think we're too fat and we diet beyond safe guidelines, running the risk of becoming out of control and starving our bodies. According to various doctors and health experts, 20% of those diagnosed with anorexia die from starvation. Our body is the only one we get. Be gentle with it. Respect it by giving it what it needs. Just sitting here talking to you, I am burning at least 35 calories an hour, just breathing and pumping blood through my body. That means that I need to eat 1,000 calories each day just to sit here and do nothing and breathe. Fewer than 1,000 calories a day is dangerous. So to avoid anorexia or any eating disorder, have your doctor help you set a healthy weight goal. Eat a balanced diet every day and exercise every other day. If you think that for one minute most of us you see on television or in the movies starve ourselves or binge and purge to stay trim, think again. We can't. We have to be able to work long, hard hours and keep a good attitude or we're out of work. That's why we come to understand that our bodies are to be respected. We need them, so we have to take good care of them. I want you to do that too. If your bathroom scale is in charge of your life, or if thin is never quite thin enough, please ask someone to help you get it under control. At the end of this program, there will be a list of some eating disorder organizations that will give you the name of someone in your area who can help you. Oh, and I can't stress enough how important water is. Water is loaded with nutrients. It aids in regulating the body's temperature. And remember, it carries off toxins. So drink up six to eight glasses of water a day. Before I go, let's take a quick look at foods that will help you get the results you want from this program. Do these four food groups look familiar? They should. They're right out of Home Ec 101. Remember this formula? Four, four, two, and two. That's four servings each day of grains, four servings fruit and vegetables, two servings meat or beans, and two servings dairy. Breads and cereals. The more whole grain, the better. Fruits and vegetables. The fresher, the better. Meats and beans. Lean is best. Remember, fat makes fat. The best choices are skinless white chicken and turkey. For a variety, I like legumes, split peas, black beans, and sometimes lentils. Dairy, 1% milk, non-fat cottage cheese, and yogurts. Healthy, active young women like you and me need between 1,800 and 2,000 calories from the food groups we just talked about. Being fit, feeling great, and looking terrific come from balancing food and exercise. I had fun. I hope you did too. So bring your body back here the day after tomorrow, and let's do this again. Thank you.